Our final guest this morning, well, probably heard me tell this story before. Former Mechanicville boy makes good. After working under Hall of Famers, Bobby Franklin, Shug McGahey, goes out on his own, has a terrific Saratoga meet. Then on Breeders' Cup Friday, has his career highlight by saddling Merrim to an upset victory in the juvenile Phillies turf. Joining us live via telephone this morning, ladies and gentlemen, the trainer of Merrim, Mr. Chad Brown. Chad, welcome back to Down the Stretch. Thanks for having me again, guys. Okay, Chad. Congratulations. I now have to call Surely. you Mr. because you've won a Breeders' Cup race. <laughs> Chad, has Thank it you. real has it sunk in yet? Are, are you still on cloud nine? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. am. I mean, it's, it's starting to sink in now. You know, so many people have been nice enough to come up to me and congratulate me down here. Uh, I know a lot of fellow trainers have been doing it a long time, so it feels pretty good. It's set in now that we won. Chad, we are about to take a look at the slow-mo of the final furlong of the Juvenile Phillies turf, the very tight finish. Let our audience know, where were you sitting watching this, and what are your emotions through that, you know, electrifying final eighth of a mile? Well, I was sitting with my wife in a box seat probably 70 yards before the wire. It was a nice box, and it was, I'll tell you, uh, watching it live, I, I looked, you know, right at the finish live, not on the TV, and I thought we won the race. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, as we're walking down towards the winner's circle, I kept showing it on the <coughs> Jumbotron over and over, and I thought we got beat. <laughs> so it was uh, it's quite a roller coaster there until I put my number up. Well, Jose Lescano, I thought, did a marvelous job for you. He timed it perfectly. He got her head down on the line. Chad, what was your reaction when they posted your number? Uh, it was just uh, it was just an unbelievable feeling. You know, it had been a tough week for, for me and my family. You know, it, it lost my grandfather, as reported. And, you know, it, it's just a lot of things came together at the right time. Jose... Um, been riding horses for me since the start and, and for Bobby before that and uh, his agent uh, Jason Bidas is a good friend of mine he actually used to walk hops with me for, which at Shrek McGahey good. real good horseman and, and, and going to become a real top jocks agent I mean he's been putting Jose on all the right horses so I ran away with the mom to meet down there and you know it's just kind of all, all in house I mean uh, all the people that helped me along the way and everyone was kind of involved so it was real special you know well, we're going to take a look at the final five sixteenths uh, of a mile once again. She is number three. She will be rallying from fifth. And Chad, just like the Miss Grillo, she showed gameness and determination in the stretch run. Yeah, she's a very game filly. Um, every one of her starts, she showed me something. And uh, in here, I mean, Jose timed it for a mile type of you know race, but I think she'll run further. He told me after the race when the other fellow got next to her, galloping out, she grabbed a bit again and wanted to run on. Uh, mm, so good. she's pretty she's pretty tactical. I think whenever you ask her to go, she's going to give you a, a good quarter mile, whether it's a mile race or a mile and eighth race or a mile quarter. Chad, how'd she come out of the race? She looks pretty good. Um, we're gonna. Uh, she's happy. She's down here at Belmont Park with me, kicking the barn mm. down. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna let her down a little bit. She's done enough this year, and uh, so we're gonna. Um, I'll take her down to Palmetto's with me in Florida, and then we'll just kind of map out a campaign with her uh, starting in the springtime. Chad, are you tempted at all at this point, since you're going to Florida, to try dirt or possibly synthetic, or for the time being, will she remain on turf? I'm tempted to try the synthetic at some point because, you know, the, the grass horses. Um, it, it's been proven now that a lot of them can handle synthetic surfaces. And on top of that, all week on the pro ride track out there, um, I didn't breeze her on it, but she was galloping very strong. I mean, I've never seen her training that good. Mm -hmm. and, and so um, I'm tempted for that. Dirt, no. I'm not, I'm not going to run this filly on the dirt. She trains okay on it, but I can tell it's just because she's a good grass horse, and they'll do that. But, um, you know, my experience with Bobby, sometimes you get tempted to try them, and you go ahead and you run them on the dirt, and they don't run any good. And then when you put them back on the grass, they're not quite the same. That's right. So yep. I'm, I'm, I don't want to – got a nice filly here. I'm going to play my cards, you know, right. I think that's, that's a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful uh, decision. Now, you told us of Merrim's plans for the winter. 
Um, right now, Chad, how many horses do you have, and what are your plans for the winter? I have about between 35 and 40 horses. Okay. It changes a little bit. Horses get claimed from me, and I'm taking a couple here and there. So that's what I have right now. Um, most of them are right here at Belmont Park. I just have a few left at Monmouth. I want to take a barn at Palm Meadows down in Florida. I'm going to leave some uh, in New York also and run at Aqueduct and uh, try to take advantage of their good purses up there. And um, so, but you know, right now I have a lot of grass horses. It's just kind of the hand I was dealt, and I, and I like having them. So those will all go to Florida. I do have a handful of promising two-year-olds that haven't started yet. So I'll take them with me too. Keep them on a uh, you know good weather and all. But any dirt horses. Uh, you know, they're either claimers or, or uh, allowance horses that maybe can't clear a condition in the summer, but in the winter can. I'll leave them in New York. Chad, do you, do you need any help in Florida? I mean, there's, <laughs> there's a 56 year old with a bad back here who, you know, maybe could, could give you some help. Chad, before we let you go, with the tremendous success at Saratoga and now the amazing victory uh, in the Breeders' Cup, have you picked up any additional owners over the last few months? You know, they're starting to call. Uh, I've had a few calls here and there, and, um, and and some quality people are starting to call. You know, what, whether they send horses or not, we'll see. And, um, you know, if, if they're willing to give me a shot, uh, you know, I'll, I'll let my horses do the talking. So, you know, they've been running pretty good. I think we put them in the right spots. We take care of them. And uh, so I, I hope to always constantly improve the quality of horses, especially if I want to come to Saratoga every summer. As you know, it's tough. Well, uh, Mr. Brown...